interessante Studien gemacht. Er hat auch eine Literaturreview gemacht und das zusammengestellt. Warum wirkt es leistungssteigernd, wenn man das Blut bestrahlt? Es wirkt natürlich nicht nur leistungssteigernd, sondern auch heilend, weil die Photonen äh, des Laserlichtes quasi die Regeneration fördern. Und äh, so, I, he's, he's going to speak in English, so just let me shortly repeat what I told him, that you are one of the pioneers of intravenous laser therapy and that your special topic is uh, laser in sports medicine and that laser does not only improve performance but also helps in healing. Yes, of course. Because laser light um, promotes regeneration. Yeah. So, please... Um, Let's uh, hear Francesco Rachi. Thank you, Wirtz. And I have really to thank also the organizer for the invitation for uh, this Congress that has been very interesting. I hope also that you will enjoy my presentation. My presentation will be about a technology, a laser technology, and a special laser that is uh, inserted directly in the vein. So the laser light uh, goes through uh, fiber optin and directly in the blood. And we will see mm, a special application in the sport medicine. Normally this kind of technology it is used uh, for cardiovascular problems and respiratory problems in, in a very well uh, way and it, it is very well known. We will see during the presentation. But nobody um, studied the intravenous laser and uh, the, the efforts in the sport medicine. These are the first studies that we have done in Italy. The intravenous laser is this. This is the technology. You can see the fiber optic uh, that can enter in a, a cannula, in a um, catheter that is inserted in the vein, normally in the arm. And uh, the technique is very simple. You can see, you just need to know how to inject uh, and to take a vein. Then you have to plug the laser device to the fiber optic and to switch on the laser and choose the wavelength of the laser. Uh, it wavelength, it means the color of the laser light. It could be red, could be green, blue, uh, invisible to the human eye because maybe it could be in the infrared or there are also yellow laser at the moment so there are a lot of mm, wavelength and each wavelength is like a medicine uh, it's not a chemical medicine but it is a physical medicine because we are giving photons we are giving energy Now it is used all over the world. This technology, it is uh, 30 years old. It seems strange, but it is in this way. First studies uh, were in um, Russian many, many years ago. But this kind of studies, um, they were using only the red laser <coughs> because at that time, only the red laser was available. Nowadays, uh, technology uh, give, gave us new laser, new wavelength, like the blue and like the yellow now. And there are a lot of scientific publications. And these publications are indexed on PubMed, the National Library of America. And there are a lot of clinical trial, and many, many, many Mm, studies are not published and are not indexed in PubMed. So there are many, but the most